Hi, welcome to day 17 of the 40 days of prayer and fasting on the theme, Go. My name is Jessica Yinch and I am the worship leader at Harvest Time Eau Claire. Uh, I chose the verse Malachi 4.2 and it says this, But for you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness will rise with healing in his wings, and you will go free, leaping with joy like calves led out to pasture. So you can see I have some of our cows behind us munching on some hay and it's obviously winter so we don't have the pasture but last summer watching our cows run down our hill um, and sometimes they do this little hippity hop thing and it is a force of nature it is them being this so excited to be out outside in nature where they're supposed to be and really nothing can stop it and when I read this first that's what I thought of I've seen it firsthand and there's there's nothing that you can you want to get out of the way when they're running and they're full of joy you want to get out of the way so I was thinking about joy and how forceful of a thing that is um, and it brought me to Galatians 5 the fruit of the Spirit so starting in verse 1 so Christ has truly set us free. Now make sure that you stay free and don't get tied up against, again in slavery to the law. We don't want to be slaves to the law. In verse 5 it says, But we who live by the Spirit eagerly wait to receive by faith the righteousness God has promised to us. And going down to verse 13, For you have been called to live in freedom, my brothers and sisters. But don't use your freedom to satisfy your sinful nature. Instead, use your freedom to serve one another in love. For the whole law can be summed up in this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. And then it goes on and it talks about how our flesh and the spirit are always at war with each other. <clears throat> Verse 22 it says, But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Combining Malachi and thinking about the joy that these calves, that's the picture that we're given. And this is something that we're looking forward to. But we have freedom today. So Malachi is talking about what is to come and the freedom that we will have when Christ finally returns and we have freedom fully in him but we can have freedom today when we are living by the Holy Spirit so my thought is we need to let go and submit ourselves to the Holy Spirit in every single moment of every single day and in turn we're gonna have these fruits of the Spirit which are powerful they're a force they cannot be stopped so when we submit and let go, we will go in force, and the kingdom of God will follow us wherever we are.